Think about this. When was the first time humans decided to keep birds, not as food, but as companions? The dawn of aviculture can be traced back to our early ancestors. They were captivated by the birds' vibrant plumage, melodic songs, and graceful flight. This admiration led to the practice of capturing and keeping birds in captivity. Unlike other animals, birds were not kept for their meat or fur, but for their beauty and companionship. This early fascination paved the way for a deeper relationship between humans and birds. As civilizations blossomed, so did our fascination with our feathered friends. Ancient cultures held birds in high regard, often attributing divine qualities to them. In ancient Egypt, for instance, birds like the ibis and the falcon were considered embodiments of the gods. These creatures were revered, their images gracing the walls of tombs and temples. But the Egyptians were not the only ones. The Romans too had a penchant for birds, they built elaborate aviaries, a testament to their admiration for these creatures. These aviaries were not just cages, they were architectural marvels designed to mimic the natural habitats of the birds they housed. Birds in Roman culture were also seen as messengers. Their flights and songs interpreted as omens. From being symbols of divinity to omens of the future, birds held a significant place in ancient societies. Their role in these cultures laid the foundation for the deep bond we share with them today. Thus, birds found their place in the heart of ancient societies. The Middle Ages heralded a new era for birds, the era of falconry. This period saw birds, specifically falcons and hawks, assume a new role, that of hunting companions. Noble families trained these birds of prey to hunt small game, a testament to the remarkable adaptability and intelligence of these feathered creatures. This practice underlined the multifaceted roles birds could play in human societies. Birds were no longer mere pets, they were partners in sport and hunting. The Renaissance, a period of rebirth and discovery, gave rise to a renewed interest in birds. This era was characterized by an explosion of knowledge and a fascination with the natural world. Birds, in their myriad of forms and colors, became subjects of curiosity and admiration. They found their way into the works of great artists, their feathers and forms immortalized in iconic paintings. They were no longer just symbols or hunting companions, but creatures of beauty and intrigue to be studied and understood. Exotic birds brought back from distant lands by explorers added to the growing fascination. People began to keep them as pets, their captivating songs and vibrant plumage adorning households. This period laid the groundwork for the scientific study of birds setting the stage for the ornithology we know today. The Renaissance period truly marked the dawn of modern aviculture. In the modern era, aviculture has evolved into a deep bond between humans and their feathered companions. This intimate connection we now enjoy with our avian friends, however, is not just a product of our fascination with their vibrant colors, unique sounds, and captivating behaviors. It's also a testament to the centuries of knowledge and understanding we've accumulated about these remarkable creatures. Today, bird keeping is more than just a hobby. It's a lifestyle for many. From the chirpy canaries that brighten up our mornings with their melodious songs to the intelligent parrots that amaze us with their ability to mimic human speech, birds have indeed become an integral part of many households around the world. But it's not just about keeping birds for our amusement or companionship. In fact, Modern aviculture plays a crucial role in conserving endangered bird species. Breeding programs, both in zoos and private aviaries, are working tirelessly to boost the populations of threatened species. They're creating safe environments for these birds to thrive, away from the perils they face in the wild, such as habitat loss, climate change, and poaching. Moreover, aviculture is also helping to raise awareness about the plight of these endangered birds. It's educating people about the importance of biodiversity and inspiring them to take action. When someone keeps a bird as a pet, they're not just providing a home for that bird. They're also becoming a part of a larger community that values and strives to protect our planet's rich avian life. However, with great power comes great responsibility. As we continue to enjoy the company of our feathered companions, we must also ensure their welfare. This means providing them with the right diet, habitat, and enrichment they need to lead healthy and fulfilling lives. Aviculture has come a long way from a simple admiration of birds 
to an integral part of our lives and conservation efforts. As we look towards the future, let's continue to cherish this bond we share with our feathered friends and do our part to protect them for generations to come.